This year we celebrate the bicentennial of Margaret Fuller's birth. She was born on May 23, 1810 in Cambridgeport, Massachusetts. She was a person of broad learning, spiritual depth, and genuine compassion for the downtrodden and marginalized, including women, Native Americans, and the working poor in 19th century America. Fuller was a pioneer in many ways, and yet I believe she's as timely as ever. I've edited an anthology of Margaret Fuller, The Spirit Leads, in the hope that brief passages from her letters, memoirs, columns, and essays will spark a curiosity to read more of her writings and learn more about her life. By any measure, Fuller was a remarkable person, religious radical, avant-garde cultural critic, feminist, progressive social theorist, investigative journalist, war correspondent, and public intellectual. She was a central figure in the Transcendentalist movement that included Ralph Waldo Emerson and many other close friends. And it could be said that she applied her Transcendentalist ideals to an active engagement with social change here in America and political revolution abroad. There are few readers today who are familiar with her writings even a groundbreaking feminist manifesto, Woman in the 19th Century. But her work set the stage for women's liberation and shaped the tastes of the American public for art, music, and literature. In many respects, we have yet to catch up to her radical views on women, culture, and religion. They remain provocative and far-reaching even today. Margaret Fuller was nothing if not aspiring. In everything she applied herself to, writing, editing, education, social reform, and her own self-creation, she aspired to grow and develop. This is what she wanted for herself, for others, for literature and art, and for her country. Extraordinary generous seeking, a phrase taken from the writings of Goethe, her literary hero, was her chosen motto. As we celebrate the bicentennial of this remarkable person, we might pause to reflect not only on her many contributions to the life and thought of her own time, but also to consider the ways in which we might still find inspiration and guidance in her legacy today. Fuller shared in the spirituality of the Transcendentalists. Like Emerson, Thoreau, and the others, she was a religious seeker of the spiritual left. But she carried that viewpoint into a wider sphere of engagement and application than many of her Transcendentalist contemporaries. These causes included women's rights, the plight of Native Americans, immigrants, and the poor in America, and political revolution abroad. Like her, we might consider the ways in which our own spirituality, which owes so much to the transcendentalists in our movement, might inform and influence our actions today. There's no better place to begin than reading and reflecting on the thoughts of Margaret Fuller. <laughs>